plaintiff, LaFay Harris, says hiring the defendant to make her daughter's prom dress was the worst mistake she's ever made in her life. LaFay claims the defendant agreed to attach feathers to a dress she purchased, but the defendant destroyed the dress, so she's suing. Defendant Kizzy McKellar says she gave LaFay exactly what she wanted. Kizzy insists LaFay's daughter loved the dress when she tried it on, and that's why she paid her. She's countersuing for defamation and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, um, I went to a Mardi Gras ball, the Shabby and Chic ball, and this lady I used to work with had on a very cute top. I asked her who made it, she said Keezy. So I was like, do you think she can do my daughter prom dress? She said yes. I reached out to Keezy, I was like, do you think you can do my daughter prom dress? She asked me when I needed it, I said April the 20th, she said no problem. The worst mistake I ever made April in my 20th? life. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I met with Kiza on three separate occasions. Each time she assured me that she could do the job. The first time was the consultation. She had my daughter to try the dress on. She measured the dress. I was like, I know nothing about this. What is it that I need to do? She stated whatever materials she purchased, I will pay her back. So the dress, here's a picture. This is a picture of the dress that I wanted her to make. So I had already purchased a dress, and I kept her a dress that I purchased, and this... All right. <laughs> and this is the receipt. So what happened? Okay, so she, kids and measured Lanaya. She said that I needed to purchase 26 to 28 inches feathers. They did I not said, have... Excuse me, Your Honor. I told her 26 inches, 25 inches, actually wide feathers is what I told her, and they could be 28 inches long. And All those right. are the ones I told her. Okay, so, okay. Purchase. so I found the feathers on Amazon, sent Keys a picture, told her that I ordered the feathers. Once I ordered the feathers, I met with her again to deliver the feathers. On April the 4th, when I met with her, she refitted my daughter again. April the 4th. April the 4th, mm -hmm. yes, sir. So she refitted her again, pulled out her measuring tape again, and said, I was like, are you sure it's going to be fitted and flared? She said, yes, I have something that I'm going to put under the bottom. I'm going to add the feathers. She was like, you probably need to get 20 more feathers. I said, I'm going to go ahead and order 60, but she was like, of the, a smaller size. So I ordered 60 Your more Honor, feathers. I never Get told her, finish, her. Please. So I ordered 60 more feathers, showed her the feathers that I was ordering before I left her house. She said that was fine. April the 4th, she asked me to send her another picture of the dress. Mm -hmm. I sent her another picture. So on April the 11th, we went back to her house. She refitted Lanaya again. For the third time, she took out her measuring tape again and said that we ordered that the you feathers came to my house twice. Let finish, ma'am. Go that ahead. That the feathers was going to fit and that it was going to be, she said she was going to put something under the bottom to make it flared out and that it would be fitted and flared because she was going to fit the dress in to, flat, to make it fit or whatever. When April, did she deliver the dress? April the 19th. When was she supposed to deliver it? The she 20th. supposed to deliver it on the 20th. Okay. April the 19th, she called me and said the dress was ready for me. And what up. happened when, she, your, uh, when you tried it on? My daughter went and picked up the dress because I was in Panama. Mm -hmm. I told Lanaya, I said, cash up keys $120. Were you coming home the, the next day? I was coming home the following day, the 21st, but Lanaya didn't go to Panama with me. So it Why was... Why are you going to miss her prom? No, you making wasn't... all this fuss about her prom dress and you weren't going to even exactly. be there. You're under the prom. You're running around in Panama chasing some man. <laughs> no, I was, Who with, is I was with my man. Being That's what I said. You're around there chasing your man <laughs> no, around the country my... when you should have been going to her prom. Now she ain't got messed up because you chasing your man around the country. <laughs> the, I... world, the world. Can I the say... hemisphere. <laughs> Go ahead. You're under the you dress. You made me mad the now. Prom, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, this gonna rectify. The prom wasn't until April the 25th. All right. Nah. I wanted to dress a weekend event just in case I needed to do anything on my Did end. you go? Sir? I mean, were you there when she went? Well, oh, yes, no. sir. Absolutely. Right. She, was, she wasn't You were at the, the house I was, to send her off? Oh, yes. I All was right. at the house. My family was at the house. We do this on the regular, honey. Okay. We was there to make sure she was sent to, off to prom, because that's honest. what we do. All right. Okay. okay. Not there Let for her finish. Go that ahead. And so on the 19th, so on the 19th she, your daughter brought daughter her home. My daughter went to pick up the prom dress and keys. I told her to cash out her 120 and to pick up the prom dress. So 
The dress was still at Kizzy House because she used glue on this part, so it made the back part so of the dress. So what didn't you like when it was delivered? Nothing. Liar. Okay, and what did you She's say to her? Lying, your That's honor. enough, ma'am. What did you say to her? So, Lanaya, I wasn't there. Keep in mind, I'm in Panama that Friday. Okay, when so, someone complained, what was the okay, complaint? Okay, on April the 20th, which was the Monday, I contacted mm -hmm. the kids. I said, we're not satisfied with the dress. Mm -hmm. She said, what you mean? Exactly what I said. We don't like it. It don't fit. It don't flare. I asked you for fitted and flared. You didn't deliver that. And then she kept asking me what I mean. I was like, is there any way you could fit the dress the feather's not gonna work. Can you add two? She said I could fit it, but I ain't gonna be able to add two. I got two. Did you all ever come to an agreement? She agreed to okay. refund me hundred and twenty dollars. There you go. And you want? I wanted more than one twenty. I wanted the one twenty. Total I, refund? One one thousand and two hundred dollars. No, for the dress. I know you think oh. you went through a thousand dollars of emotional <laughs> distress, but you wouldn't went through any of that if you wasn't in Panama and instead <laughs> being there to help your daughter to get her things. Let me hear from you. Well, first of all, Your Honor, I started um, in high school doing alterations. Yeah. I was doing, or well, I started with learning how to do it in high school. And after school, after high school, I went on to um, Bishop State with my tailor, with my, my, my instructor, he got a business. And I started working for him. I worked for him at four different occasions. So, um... So you're well qualified. Yes, sir. Sounds like. And, and then you open your own? Yes, she contacted me from a friend of mine and also a high school classmate, you know, that she told me about her, and I said, mm -hmm. okay, I agreed to that. Mm -hmm. And basically, she got what she came. You, you know, told her it would be done on April 20th? Yes, sir, I did. Okay, and what happened on the 19th? Uh, is that when you say she delivered it? Yes, sir. Okay, when you yes, tell me what happened as of the 19th when you delivered it, what her type daughter, of conversation? Her daughter and her grandmother came to my home, and mm -hmm. her daughter um, tried on the dress, and it, it fit her right, except for around the collar part. And her mother, her mother said she liked it. Her daughter said she loved it. She even called her on the phone while she was in Panama and said, Mom, I love the dress. That is when she paid me. She's shaking her head she if said, this is her. Say, she, she, said, she sent $12 for it. She said, oh my God, I meant to put a zero. You and were paid after she had tried it on? Yes. Okay, is that true, ma'am? One twenty, one hundred and twenty. All right. Why would you do that if you weren't satisfied? I didn't pay it. My daughter paid. Why would she do it if she was unsatisfied? I, come on, Lenaya. Come I, step up. State your name. Lenaya Go ahead. Cares. Why did you pay her if you weren't satisfied with the dress? Um, cause I was in disgrace. I really didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to tell her I didn't like it. Oh, okay. Just open your mouth. When did you find, when did you determine how to tell her? When I told my mom. Got it. All right. So your mother is the one that told her. Her mother. Yes, died. sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that sounds reasonable. She's a young lady in high school. She don't know what to do, as she says. <laughs> she didn't know that perhaps you don't have to pay exactly. uh, until you get it. So that doesn't indicate or uh, that she approved it. That doesn't indicate approval to me. Because as you know, how many days later did mother tell you she was dissatisfied with um, it? Um, like two days later. How did you respond to that? Uh, when she, she texted me and, and said that she was dissatisfied mm -hmm. with it. And she said she wanted me to take the feathers off and add tool to it. Add and what? Like, tool. It's like a, a fabric. Okay. It flares or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it was like... That flares? Yeah, it like... Makes it the dress out. flare? Yeah, it yeah. Did you do out. it? No, I didn't Why? because I had already taken on three other jobs. Oh, you didn't she got have her time. Dress. Go ahead. You didn't have time to do what she asked. What else? Um, after Because is this she... the flare? Yeah. Because it's... it's certainly not that. No. This it's not is, because she ordered That's nowhere him. near she this. Ordered, she ordered her own feathers. Whatever, the... ma'am. You said you didn't have time. I did That's what you just but told she me. she ordered her own feathers. I understand all that, but she didn't put it together. You just admit it that you had to move on to other customers. Yes, sir, I did. When she asked you to correct it... Yes, sir. ...so it could look closer to that... Yeah. ...because that looks nothing like this. So okay. she says, seize it. Could you put in the tool? Ah! Gotta move on! <laughs>
Yes, sir. I didn't have the time because I had moved right. on. But she ordered well, you didn't her own the job. You didn't complete it. That's a material breach. So let's get to your emotional distress. How are you old for emotional distress? I'm still hurt to this day. Pardon My me? I said I'm still hurt to this day. Ma'am, you're not getting Look. any emotional distress. You're going to get your money back for that. And emotional distress is an extreme act that causes severe distress that people typically have to go to counseling for. Now, I saw you with the tick in your neck. Is that from this? It is. It is. All right. Well, I'm going to have yes, to sir. give you some money. It, Since, it is. Did she have a tick before or that no, just started? No, I did not. All right, ma'am. You're going to have to pay her. The mountain, you gave a woman a tick. Mm. Now, what's your counterclaim? How does <laughs> how does she owe you for defamation? Because I um, was supposed to get dental work done in this process. And when I went to the dentist, my pressure, my blood pressure was extremely high. They couldn't even, they couldn't even do any of my work because of all of this. She put a Facebook post, her daughter put a Facebook post up. And I didn't see it. My daughter saw it first. She saw it. You have and, it? Yes, sir, I do. Now, you gotta get to the plaintiff, though. You gotta get to what mama did, because otherwise you need to sue the daughter. The daughter put a, a def that, uh, defaming post. post. All of that is, yes, um, Then that's who you have to go after. My senior prom is ruined. I all, all because this lady wanted to experiment on my dress, and now I look like a fool to all the people of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Please do your research on who's making your dress before you end up like me. It's my senior year. I don't see what's wrong with this. I see nothing First wrong all, with this. First of all, I didn't this. make her She's dress. giving her a... P you didn't? I did not make her dress. I altered it. I didn't make it. Here's okay. the fabric. All right, so that one word is what you're hanging your, hanging your no, defense on? No, this whole... The, I, my, our, the Facebook The one word, is my make marketing. versus alter, no, that's sir, not enough. Facebook is my marketing um, I understand. She hasn't outlet. said a thing about you. Your name is not mentioned. My name is mentioned, but that's all my right, living Sue room. her, first of all, yes, sir, and your name is dad. not mentioned. I don't know what you're talking about other than home. that. All right, your claim is dismissed. Okay. All right? And yours is granted. You put 120 as a refund and 230 for the feathers. I'll give you that back. 350 for the refund. <laughs> and $20 for your tick. <laughs> so, <laughs> your judgment it. is $370. <laughs> Have a good day. Your claim is just Thank missed. you. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Got it. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know you told us to order. Mm. You told us to order six That's feathers. That's a lie. You know you told that us is to a order lie. six feathers, girl. You, you don't know what 25 is. What school did you go is? to? Why you would don't you know put them on now? Because obviously you want them. You ordered them. Oh, girl, you ignorant. That's what you want. That is fine. You ordered. <laughs>